Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to start building a web browser. So the first thing that we need to do is remove all these things. We are going to delete the event browser by clicking on it and then pressing the delete button. We click on it again, press the delete button, press the delete button to remove everything. And so we have a linear layout looking like this. And let's change the horizontal to vertical. So now the orientation is vertical and then what we'll do, we'll also remove all of this. We don't require this right now. We are going to be developing all these things again. So let's remove this. All right. Now we have removed everything. Let's go and learn what we are going to do in this video. So the first thing that we are going to learn is called a web view. Now, what is a web view? A web view is a view that displays web pages. This class is the basis upon which you can roll your own web browser or simply display some online content within your activity. Now, what is an activity? Activity is just your backend file. Basically, for example, let's say we gap, go back to our browser. So this file is also known as an activity. This backend file is also known as an activity. All right. So it uses the WebKit rendering engine to display web pages and includes methods to navigate forward and backward through a history, zoom in, zoom out and perform text searches and more. So we are going to be basically using this inbuilt thing called web view to display web pages. Now here is an example of what we are going to be building. Now this doesn't look like the most greatest browser in the world, but right now we just want to learn about the basics of how to make a web browser instead of focusing on designing. That's why it doesn't look that good, but the functioning works really, really well. So here's the first where we it's, here's the edit edit text box where we're going to write www dot and our URL name, our website name, and here's the go button. On pressing the go button, we'll be able to visit the website. Now this forward and backward is for for example after Facebook we visit Google dot com, but we want to go back to Facebook dot com. Then we can press this back button, and this can go back. And similarly, this is the forward button. This is the refresh or the reload button, and this is to clear the whole history. So if we clear the whole history, then we can't go back and forward. These are the buttons that we are going to be making. Uh, this screen is known as the web view. If we remove this go button, if we remove this edit text. Now this is the edit text where we can write things. Edit text is something where we can write our name, a URL or anything. So this is the edit text. This is a button. These are four buttons. So if we remove the edit text, we remove this go button and we remove all these four buttons, then what is remaining is known as a web view. So we are going to be creating this web view in our project in this video actually. And then we are going to be focusing on something called users permission. And this permission has to be added in manifest file, which we are going to look into. And then finally, we are going to run the app. And these three things we are going to do in this video. We are not going to be making these buttons or these four buttons in this video. We are just going to be adding this web view in this video and adding the users permission and basically then the app to check if it's working or not. So let's just get into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is open this backend activity and go to this XML file. In this XML file, inside this linear layout, we are going to write just like we made a text view, just like we make a button, we are going to make something known as a web view. So let's open the tag and name it as web view. A helper comes over, we press enter and the layout width we are going to get give match parent and the height we are also going to give match parent. We need to press enter and the ID we are going to give as, uh, let's just give as web view underscore and we can call it brow for example web view underscore brow uh, this is for xml now that we have created the xml file we have to do this in the backend file also if you guys remember so we are going to come over here we are going to write web view and let's just call it brow over here and this web brow web view is not found because v is not in capital let's make the v in capital and then we are going to import this so this has been imported all right there has been some mistakes so let's press backspace all right this is fine now so we are going to write brow over here then we are going to type web brow sorry web view and find view by id okay i missed the equal to button find view by id and r dot id dot web view brow semicolon now we have declared the browser and we have initialized the browser 
sorry i meant we have initialized the web view and declared the web view now what we are going to do is load a url so let's store the url in a string and name it url and we are just going to put in http www.hackstories.com semicolon now if you don't know this website is of mine right now if you put in google.com or facebook.com any of these big websites it won't work but instead of hackstories.com you can try your own website but just don't try big websites and make sure at least now to put in http colon uh, backslash backslash www dot in front of it because if you don't put it right now it's not going to work so what i'm going to recommend is put it in in future in the future videos we are going to fix this so right now just type in http colon slash backslash backslash www dot and the website name dot com then what we are going to do is going to we are going to take this brow object and take it as brow and we are going to say something like load url already help is given so we'll press enter and we are going to put this string url inside it so we'll just say url so now that we have declared our web view in this area in the xml file in the front end so if you go to over here you can see this shows a whole web view and if you go into text file it is an id it is match parent so it takes the whole screen and it has match parent so it takes a whole width so it's on the whole screen right now then we go to we went to the backend file we initialized it over here we declared it actually over here a brow a web view and then we initialized it over here then we stored the url inside the string variable and then we load it using the load url function now the next thing that we are going to do is declare our permissions in the android manifest file you can find the manifest manifest file by going to this app and clicking on the manifest and double click on this android manifest.xml then we are going to declare permissions over here we are going to put as something uses permission or help is coming on we'll click on it and android name then we want internet permission so we are going to type android dot permission dot internet and there it is internet and then we close this tag off by pressing this and uh, we have declared the permissions now the third thing that we have to do is actually run the application so we are going to start our jenny motion so to start jenny motion we are going to press this over here and it's going to come and we are going to press the start button it's going to take some time it is going to initialize the virtual device starting virtual device Now that an Android virtual device Jenny motion has started, we are going to minimize this. We are going to cross this out and we are going to press on the play button. Then we are going to select the Jenny motion device and we are going to click OK. Right now the gradle is building so it's going to take some time. We are going to give it the time. As you can see over here our running is complete and if we go to our Jenny motion virtual device you can see the hack stories has been opened. if you see this whole area is just a web view we can scroll down if you want by pressing the down button on our keyboard and there you are now this is pretty much it for this video i'm going to see you in the next one